Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Robert Morris University live tour segment. My name is Andrew Dixon and I am so thrilled to be your host for today's adventure. Now, for those of you joining us for the first time, welcome. For those of you guys back for another time around, welcome back. Now let me explain a little bit about how all of this works. All of this at our Robert Morris University live tours is brought to us by our friends at Georama. And what this does, this allows us to stream and take you guys around to see everything that Robert Morris has to offer that's truly unique and special to us. Now, we are here at our downtown Chicago location, which just happens to be our main campus of Robert Morris University. And we have so far seen a wide variety of different things that we offer, such as our various programs, some of our activities, some clubs and organizations you can be a part of. We've seen some, we saw a, a pig slaughtering. If you haven't seen it yet, go back. There's a, there's, in the archives, there's a, literally, they butchered a hog. I'm not even kidding. But today, I'm here to talk to you guys about something that's really cool and something that is truly unique and just invaluable to us here at Robert Morris University here in Chicago. We're talking about experience-based learning, which is one of the, the cornerstones of our education system here. And we actually had a, a course, a couple of courses designed specifically for getting out into the city, taking advantage of all of everything it has to see, do, and offer, and all the different rich variety of cultural diversity, the resources, and they, they've applied it back to no, their normal college curriculum. So I have a whole group of uh, you know, students and a couple of the teachers to help put it together to talk to you guys a little bit about everything they did and why it was so awesome for their education and how Chicago is just so advantageous for the things that you're pursuing. So without further ado, you want to follow me? By the way, if you guys have any questions, you feel free to chat them in and I'll try and try my best to answer them on camera. And following this adventure, there will be a survey which you guys can fill out which lets us know how we're doing and things we can improve on. So. I'm going to go ahead and join my friends over here. They're kind of congregating after their class. I know, so just, for the, just so you guys know, they're in the middle of week nine, which is the, the second to last week of the quarter. So they just pumped out a bunch of presentations. So they might be a little tired, but hopefully they'll have some good answers for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this around. If you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves and uh, what year you are, what major you're studying, okay? And then maybe an activity you do here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mick McMahon. I am a professor here at Robert Morris University, um, and I teach uh, English, Communications, and Humanities. And uh, the course that we were teaching here, I teach the English 211 component. Uh, and this is the third course you take uh, at Robert Morris University. First, it's COM 101, which is a basic introduction to communication. Uh, and then there's English 111, which is Foundations of Composition and Rhetoric. Uh, all those fun terms, I know. Uh, this one is uh, argument and research. So we read a few Chicago novels, uh, and students wrote a couple papers, and we had a bunch of experiences in the class that uh, I'm sure our, uh, uh, our fine students will, will, will tell you all about. So I'll pass this along. All right. uh, my name is Troy Dignan. Uh, I'm a freshman here at Robert Morris University, and I'm studying business administration. Uh, I also play hockey um, here at this university as well. All right, my name is John Wazdrag. I'm a business administration major as well, and I play volleyball here. Uh, my name is Paige Walker. Uh, I'm a freshman also studying business administration, and I'm actually in the marching band. Hi, I'm Scarlett DeRoos. I'm a freshman at RMU, and I'm also a business administration major, and I run cross country. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Michael Stelzer Jocks. I'm actually the faculty, other faculty member here. Um, I teach social science and uh, history courses. So I actually teach the class that's right before Mix English 211. It's uh, SSC 270, which is the Chicago Urban Experience class, which is uh, a very different type of course because what we've tried to do with this course is to have it halfway in the classroom, uh, kind of a traditional college course, and then half outside the classroom. So. Uh, throughout the quarter, we've taken numerous trips, uh, sometimes as a group, uh, but often students are expected to do it individually and go out and kind of get that Chicago urban experience. All right, so I guess I put myself in between the guys with 99.9% .9 of the answers. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk to you, uh, the students and kind of just, because I, I want you guys to share your, your, your perspective of this unique type of uh, learning environment. And the thing, like, put it in your words, what you got to do, and then uh, kind of how you tied it back to your education. Anyone want to start? Uh, I'm just going to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we just had these two classes, and um, they were, like, 
you know, partnered together, like they said. And so we would kind of combine the two classes and like once a week we would go on a field trip that would be uh, related to our topic that week. And so like we went to like a lot of places like we actually went to the Cubs game last, we went to the art museum, um, several other museums like the Field Museum. And you know, I just think it was <laughs> a good experience, um, you know, getting out and actually it made us more engaged and instead of having to just sit in the same classroom all the time. And also I think it made us together feel more connected, being able to be with these same group of people and going out to events and stuff together. Um, I think this class definitely like learning about like the different um, places that we've gone and stuff it's definitely opened up like my eyes to more of the neighborhoods rather than just staying downtown I'm more open to like going on adventures and like actually like seeing firsthand the places that we're learning about and talking about so I think that's really like fun and cool and also like like she said brought us closer together as like a group of friends rather than like just random people in a class. All right, so uh, from my understanding, this, this is not Chicago 101, right? That wasn't the name of the course. So how would you say that you guys, all this experience and everything you experienced out in the city of Chicago, how did you, you know, kind of specifically tie it back to, you know, English or uh, what was the course again? <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay, SOC 270. It's Social Chicago Urban Experience. Gotcha. So you get the Chicago Urban Experience or uh, English. So how did you guys kind of relate it all back to the classroom? Uh, well, since we were able to go out and visit these certain places that we talked about um, in the classroom, um, it just kind of gave you a real experience with that. And uh, you get to create your own viewpoint on the certain thing that we're either A, uh, discussing in class or B, something that you have to turn in later, like, a, like an assignment or whatever. Um, you like get your own personal attachment to this uh, trip, let's say, that you take. And uh, you get to just put your own viewpoint on it. and. Um, Put in your own words, and it's it's a cool experience to be a part of this class. And, yeah. yeah, I'd say that um, you definitely get to experience what makes Chicago Chicago. And um, for someone like me that was born and raised in Chicago, I even learned a lot of stuff about Chicago, and it's just a great experience to witness it firsthand and see all the diversity and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you know, from the teaching standpoint, we wanted to. Uh, create a, several experiences. Uh, sometimes it was a little challenging because um, the two novels that we read, The Jungle, uh, you know, there's not really a lot going on in the stockyards right now. Uh, and in the house on Mango Street, uh, it, it's very sort of subjective and, and dreamlike almost. So one of the events that we did is we went to uh, the Mexican Museum of Fine Arts, which was, I, was that like your first time there? I mean, you had been there a couple times. It was my first time. Um, and what we did is we took a look at some of the themes that were represented in the painting, uh, in the paintings and the artwork there, uh, like poverty, oppression, hopes, uh, identity. Um, and we started connecting with that. And it's just much better than us just talking about it in the classroom. Um, we went out, we experienced the language, the culture. I think even a few uh, of the students uh, stopped and got some great Mexican food in, in Pilsen. <laughs> I know I did, uh, which, which was fantastic. And um, it was really cool just breaking down some of the walls, but we, we always wanted to come back to uh, make that connection. Part of uh, experience-based learning isn't just going out and doing it, uh, it's bringing it back into the work. And, and I know that I've read uh, all of these students' papers, and in one way or another, whether they realized or not, uh, a lot of these experiences manifested themselves in, um, in their thinking, and so that was a really, really great part about it. And so, uh, just sort of a, a sidebar, one of the things we're working on now is, because it's so fun to go out there, we don't want to necessarily come back, uh, we're working on an experience-based learning room, uh, which Michael is actually, they're, they're kicking Michael and the, the newspaper staff out of the, the, the newspaper room. Uh, and we're going to have a different type of room that has uh, uh, lots of places for you to think and to write and to reflect in computers. And it's not that traditional seating. There's going to be some different desks and uh, you could write on the walls. Well, the, the walls that have the special paint on it that you could write on. So we don't want to get too, yeah. So um, 
you know, experience-based learning is sort of, we're, we're, we're thinking about what we're doing. There's always motivation behind going to a new neighborhood or um, taking an L ride from, from one end to the other. And we're talking about segregation and different uh, parts of the city and how it all kind of comes together downtown. We're able to see that through some of the experiences and it helps, uh, I think, with, with some of the subject matter. And so now this EBL room that we're gonna have on the first floor will be a nice place for us to think a little bit more and work on our papers and uh, bring it all together. A little bit easier to head outside too. A little bit easier to head outside. Yeah. All right, so I wanna get a couple of different perspectives. I'd like to talk to a faculty member and then a student. Why, what, what is, uh, what's so important or like almost the necessity for this sort of you know, hybrid learning environment? What, what are students taking away that they wouldn't just get in a traditional classroom? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's something that I, I mean, from my college experience, I never had. And uh, since I've been here, this is something that we've always been very dedicated to and devoted to. And so this class being very specific to that, it was, uh, I mean, it's an incredible experience because, um, you know, I could teach a Chicago history class, but I mean, like, to be, to be able to get out there and really be there. It's such a different experience. It's such a, a more fulfilling uh, experience. So like for instance, um, I think it was in about the third week of the course, we actually took a trip up to, uh, into a, a, we were talking about food, and so we went up to a Chicago hot dog stand. And, uh, and you know, I mean, it's like, even, I mean, like if you wanted to, you could deliver hot dogs to the classroom, right? We could all eat the hot dogs <laughs> together. But it was like something about going up to this little kind of hole in the wall place up, uh, up off of Chicago Avenue and like all the different people walking in and out and kind of just sitting there and talking and discussing and communing around food that made that experience that much more uh, fulfilling and something that I think for the students, I mean, I don't, I, can't speak for them completely, but I mean, like for me and Mick, I know we came back and we were just <laughs> raving about it, and not just the food, just the fun of it, the excitement of it, and something that hopefully, um, you know, in a classroom they might not remember two, three years down the road what we talked about, but they're going to remember that that hot dog trip. Yeah, I definitely think it makes, you know, coming to school a lot more fun. Like, I actually want to show up to the classes and do stuff. Yeah, because it's, it's, it seems just like it's so fun and you're having a good time. And, like, then these people also become your friends, so you want to hang out with them. And, but, like, at the same time, you also find out, like, you are actually learning stuff because we look at the themes, like, that we're learning with, like, in English and stuff. And a lot of those will also tie back with our Chicago class, which is a lot about identity. And so you actually realize that you're learning all the stuff, but at the time you don't because you're just having such a good time, like going out and doing stuff because instead of just sitting the same everyday routine. All right, and then one last time around, I want you guys to go ahead and share. You guys might have already. I want you guys to go, all of you guys to go around and share your favorite uh, Chicago excursion so far. And uh, if, if it did come back into the class, if, if there's a reason it came out of the classroom or it was just to have a blast, go ahead and share that as well. You want to start? Well, probably my favorite trip that we got to take was definitely to the Cubs game. Um, I mean, not many people can say that they've gone on a free trip to a Cubs game with a class. Um, I, was, I was talking about it with some kids in my marketing class, and I said that I was going to the Cubs game this Thursday for class, and they were all like, well, no way, like, what class is it? And I, I explained the whole situation of how it's like a new class and everything, and uh, they were really jealous about it. So, I mean, this is an awesome course. Uh, if you have the choice, I, I would definitely join it because you do get to make friends with these people you're in a classroom with them all day um, so it's it's a great experience and hope that you guys uh, will choose it so all right so my personal favorite was the hot dog stand without a doubt um, you really can't beat free food especially when it's paid for <laughs> by the university so um, that was my favorite trip um, I'm gonna have to agree with Troy and say that my favorite was definitely the Cubs game because not only did we get like to go to a free Cubs game and such but like it was also nice to see people outside of like the school setting like a lot of people it, it's different seeing someone at school all the time than actually going out to like a sporting event with them you definitely get to see a new side of people <laughs> yeah. I wonder who you're talking about <laughs> Okay, well, I, I agree. Definitely the Chicago um, Cubs game was one of my favorites, but I also wanted to mention we went to the Art Museum and the Art Institute, and I had painted a picture before in one of my painting classes of one of the 
paintings at the Art Institute, and then I actually got to go there and take a picture with it. So I thought that, that was really cool. Um, but then, I, yeah, I like the Cubs game a lot, which is surprising because I'm actually a Cardinals fan. But I think it was a fun, yeah, I think it was a fun time still. And definitely it had to do with, you know, hanging out with the people in our class that we're now friends with. Yeah, so I agree. Also the Chicago Cubs game. All right, now let's hear from the designers. Let's see where they like to go the best. Uh, well, I, I, like I said, that the hot dog stand was really fun, and the, and the Cubs game was most definitely fun. And and uh, like I think Paige said, that you get to see people outside of the class. Even there was something about because it was uh, an excursion that started at seven o'clock at night instead of being during the time period. And we all had to kind of meet down there, and you know nobody was. It, it just had a very different feeling to it. But I, I also want to say that. I mean, it was good for, uh, you know, I've lived in Chicago for 15 years, and um, we went to, the, Mick mentioned, we went to the, the Mexican Fine Arts Museum. I think that's the title. can't remember the title exactly. And uh, it was this, I, I had never been there before, um, and it was this great place that, you know, it's down in Pilsen. It just doesn't really look like anything but a community center, and you go in, and it was this amazing museum. And so it was this... A uh, wonderful thing that, you know, the best thing about being an instructor is that it's not that you're getting just to, to teach and to, to help students, it's that you're learning as well. So it was this great experience for me as well going to that. So I think that might have been my favorite. Last but not least. Oh, wow. Look okay, at this tough act to follow. You know, I mean, I think that everybody's really making some uh, some good points, and especially without the, the walls. Like, it's it's not about e even the, the, the ultimate place. I mean, that's a very big, big important uh, part of it, but it's getting there. It's that journey, it's getting on the L, it's seeing the people. Uh, we saw gradually throughout this whole class the communities develop, and th 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 this class, uh, there's a bond there, you know, and, and they experienced it together, and, you know, maybe they got lost along the way, or maybe they got harassed by somebody, who knows. <laughs> but they learned from it, and, and so I, I loved all of these experiences. You know, Michael's been here for over 15 years. Uh, I've lived here basically my entire life, and I got to do new things and experience new things uh, throughout these these 10 weeks. Uh, specifically, um, I'm, I, I'm going to have to also say the Mexican Fine Arts Museum. Um, we knew that we wanted to go there, and um, we didn't know how we were going to do it. And we just kind of went there, and I think it was one of the better um, experiences that connected with everything. And sometimes it happens that way uh, in education. And you got to let the experience happen and you have to be open. Uh, and it wasn't just the museum, it was the whole adventure. It was the, 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 the part of the city that it was in. It was almost as if the art had crept out of the museum and onto the walls of the neighborhood. Um, and in the, the food that was there and the people who were walking around, even though it was uh, raining and snowing and then sunny and then raining and then snowing, which is to Chicago weather, also the Chicago experience. So, uh, you know, we went to Chicago History Museum too, which was really cool, my first time there as well. Um, and so um, I would have to say that that was my, my favorite experience. All right, guys, well, a lot to look forward to with this, uh, this new curriculum that's being developed here at Robert Morris to get you guys outside, classroom without walls, right? So thank you guys so much for taking time out to talk with me, and I really appreciate and they appreciate your input. So thank you guys so much. So we just got to hear a wealth of information from the variety of students and faculty here at Robert Morris that helped put together this really unique curriculum, which was designed to, like I said, to get you out, get you into the communities, use this beautiful city which we're a part of. And on top of that, I couldn't think of a better place you know, to call home when you think about ed your education and your cultural diversity and your overall enrichment. Chicago is the place to be, you know, best city in the Midwest, right? So, you guys have an opportunity to come check out, see what this is all about. Come visit campus. On our website, there's a button. Visit RMU. Schedule a date and time that works the best for you. You can meet one of our talented admissions counselors, speak with student ambassadors, get a tour of our campus, and while you're here, explore the city. And if this wasn't enough for you guys, we have plenty of videos archived. Give us a call, shoot us an email. And again, after this video, guys, I highly recommend that you take that survey. Let us know how we're doing. And uh, other than that, guys, my name is Andrew Dixon. I am so thrilled to be your host. Signing off.